Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope everyone has had an amazing week so far. I have been daydreaming about all the places that I want to go to when it's safe to do so. I mean, who knows when this is going to be over, but I really hope soon because there's a lot of reasons why I need to go out. And one of the main reasons why I want to leave is because I've always wanted to travel to Iceland. I mean, not really always wanted to travel is that the guy that I like who doesn't really like me back wants to go to Iceland so badly and I feel like I wanted to give him a trip. So I don't know, maybe we connect in the trip. So once this is over, I'm going to take my shot and go to Iceland with this guy. My friends and family always joke about how I fall in and out of love with these guys every 10 minutes, but that hasn't stopped me from imagining going on a holiday with this guy. But anyways, enough about me. Let's get right into the real reason why everyone's here. The Juicy Secrets. The following content contains adult subject matter, including sensitive material, and is intended for adult consumption only. It may not be suitable for all audiences. Therefore, discretion is advised. Lele Pond is not a trained expert, but is using her personal experiences to create a space for sensitive discussions. So here's the deal. Every episode, I talk to two anonymous callers who will show their secrets with us. We have people calling in from all over the country with all kinds of secrets, and I'm here to listen, ask some questions, and help them if I can. And if you want to be a part of this podcast, I am here for all of you, so just head over to shots.com slash secrets if you have a secret that you want to talk about on the show. Also, head over to lilshop.com slash lele to check out some of my custom Best Kept Secrets merch. Okay, it's time to take our first call. I'm really excited and I can't wait to see what our first caller has in store for us. Let's get right into the call. Hi, Sam. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. How are you doing today? Doing pretty well. Doing well, yeah. Really? Well, I'm not going to bother too much, so I just, I'm going to go straight to this because I, I'm really excited to hear your story and we're all dying to know. What is <laughs> your best kept secret? Okay, so... Uh, my best kept secret. Oof, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, oh. My best kept secret is I've actually been in love with my best friend for like seven years. <laughs> I'm in love with you. I love you for saying that. That's that is so cute. I wish I I wish I could hug you right now. How did wait? I want to know everything about this. How did you meet your best friend? When did you know that you were? In, I mean, there are so many movies about this that I wish I was a part of. I'm right. so excited. So right. how did you meet your best friend? Okay, so it's kind of like a long backstory, okay. and I'll try to like make it, you know, I'll try to make it relatively quick and easy to digest. So I met her my freshman year of college. We like went to college together, but before that, my junior year of high school, I did like a semester program away from my high school, and at that school, I dated a girl for a few months, and it ended up that that girl was my future best friend's twin sister. Wait, twin sister, so, like identical twin or just like a twin? Not identical, not identical, but like definitely makes it the whole situation weirder. And you haven't met your best um, friend yet? No, at that okay. point I had not met her. So fast forward two years, um, my freshman year of college, and that's when I met my best friend. And the reason we like initially met is because my like former girlfriend told me, she was like, oh, my sister's going uh, to the same school as you. Like, that's so exciting, blah, 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 blah. And so we were like, oh, like we should totally meet and like become friends, which we did. Um, <laughs> so that's like how we met. That is so cute. <laughs> and did you like her the minute that you saw her? Or was it like you guys got connection after? Yeah, so kind of like a combination. I feel like when we first met, I kind of like got that feeling in my like stomach and I was like, oh, nope, like can't do that. You know, like that, oh, nope, that's, no. that's not an option, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, we became better friends and, like, you know, spent more and more time together. And I was like, oh, no, like, I am, like, falling in love, you know? Oh, my gosh. You were falling in love. And, like, did you ever even, like, flirt or at all? Like, you just kept it to yourself. That, yeah. It's tough for me to, like, say, honestly. And the reason why is because, like, I feel like sometimes when I was, like, feeling, like, you know, more confident and more secure and stuff, I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, we're definitely flirting. Like, this is definitely, like mutual and then when i was like feeling like less confident like my self-esteem was low or whatever i was feeling insecure i'd be like oh my goodness like no like we're, you're just friends like that's not a thing at all uh stop thinking about that you know so it's like oh. it's hard to look back at it like or look at it then and now like objectively and be like i think like 
I think there was like to some degree some flirting, but also that could have just been like, you know, two friends who yeah. are like very close, right? I mean, did she have a boyfriend during that time? Like, so yeah, that's like another kind of wrinkle in the whole thing is that ever since I've known her, like literally four seven years at least, uh, she has had the same boyfriend. Th- there have been times when they've been like on and off, oh but that's God. like a whole other... so annoying. How annoying? How horrible is that? <laughs> right, so annoying. It is the worst to see the person that you like with somebody else. Mm-hmm. It's one of the worst feelings in the world, to be honest. It's terrible. Yeah, it's awful. I don't mean to like pass judgment at all, but also there were just like she was my really good friend. So if there were ever times when like their relationship wasn't going well or when he was like at fault, you know, like she and I would talk about it, right? And it'd be oh, like, oh no. my god, like why are you with this guy? You know, like I wouldn't say that. But I'd be like, oh, my God, no. I would do whatever it would take to, like, kind of, like, break them up. If I really like that person, I swear, like, yeah. I don't care. Like, it's it's the love, the heart ones yeah. with the heart ones. And I, it's hard to, to just see. Because then you, you're like, there's so many things that right. I can do with her. Like, I can treat her better than that. Like, he's not even treating her like she deserves. Totally, yeah. Oh, and- yeah, that makes sense. You know, when we were in college, we, like, lived right next to each other. And it's like seeing each other all the time we see each other like my, much less now but I, i'm always like yeah like should i have done something like that but i think i would have felt super guilty also if i was like you know trying to break them up or something or romantic right yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 like damn fair. you love me that much fair. that you would do that yeah oh man you're you know you're convincing me maybe i should still do that i mean you're gonna regret it if you, ne- if, you know sometimes it's hard to let go right. of someone when you never even start it because you're always gonna wonder yeah. what would have happened if you did do something or like told totally. her you know like and you never told her anything i've come like so close at times Aww. but i don't think i've like ever like fully so i think i've like you know i kind of like revert to like making jokes about it or something like oh my god like what if we dated but it's like oh my god that is the cutest thing but it's also like oh my god just like be a real person like talk real you know you know what i just did this week i literally like a guy right i like this guy and he went Uh he went to my house in a pool we were all with friends and we played truth or dare and i it went like i was i told my friends every time i picks him dare him to do something with me kiss me touch me whatever i did you know and it's just like so funny because he was like why is everyone literally like pushing me to let it you know and it was so that's what i do and it's like and it's not my fault like it's there but i already had planned it out but I think I think right, you know right. all my list. A lot of my listeners are probably single girls, and we want to know because this this is something I love as a single girl that I am. What do you like about her? Because we all want to find a guy who you know like loves us and, and and tells us like little beautiful things. So, what is what what do you like about her? Totally, um, a bunch of things. She's like obsessed with like wildlife. She like wants to be a veterinarian, Aww. and she's just like so like like weird and like cool in the ways that like. I didn't really expect, I think when I first like met her, just like knowing where she was coming from and stuff like that. And like, she always like shocks me and she's like so curious and just like dives into things that she's interested in, like with so much passion. And sometimes, you know, it's kind of in like, like dorky way, but it's like so cute. You're so so... excited to say, and you know what I love about (laughs) it? You didn't even go to the physical part. You went straight to like, you know, the the personality, you know, and people usually, when I ask people or guys, I'm like, what do you like about her? Well, her ass is real or something like that, you know? (laughs) But you literally went with like, she's a, she loves wildlife. And I mean, that's so cute. And that shows that you really do like her for her. But I do want to know physically, do you like her? Like, what do you like about her? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, She's beautiful. Oh, I think she's like, yeah, she's just, she's beautiful. I I don't even know like what to say. You get Um, nervous around her? Yeah, absolutely. I get nervous. (laughs) And does she treat Um, you like her best friend too? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, literally, um, let's see, uh, two days ago. So my birthday was like a week and a half ago. And uh, oh, she like, texted me on my birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and she like, texted me on my birthday and was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I can't, uh, like, I can't call right now. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, and she was just like busy. And I was like, no worries. Like, don't worry about it. I like don't love attention on my birthday anyway. So I was like, don't worry about it. And then uh, two days ago, I was just like, uh, I was just like at home and I got a call from her and I was like, oh, like, this is random. And she called and she was like, happy birthday. Like, you know, she just like followed up and stuff like that. Um, and it's just like, yeah, so obvious that like, I'm not going to try to assume like what way she cares about me, you know, but it's so obvious that she does care about me. And we just talked for like an hour uh, 
just like on the phone. It was so nice. Oh, that's so cute. I I I love that because <laughs> it's just just like innocent love, you know. And like, yeah. Do you ever plan on telling her anything ever? Yeah, I I think about this like a lot. Obviously, um, I do. It feels like the right time hasn't happened yet. There's maybe. never gonna um, be a right time. Or, or maybe, like you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you might be right. You might be. So let's right you know. Let's that. do something. Let's pretend I'm your crush. I'm her. Practice telling okay. me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> let's see. I'd probably say something along the lines of like, this might be surprising or whatever, but uh, I just want to like lay out how I feel uh, because I feel like you deserve to know at, like we are such good friends that I don't want to like be living, you know, a lie or like living like with this like mask on. I feel like you deserve to know like exactly how I feel. I don't expect you to like, you know, reciprocate necessarily. I know this is kind of out of the blue, but like, I love you. I have loved you for a long time, and I just think you deserve to know. Oh, and I, something I'd pro- like that. I'd probably be like, "When did you? When did you find out? Why didn't you tell me?" She's gonna probably say that. Why didn't you tell me before? Or maybe yeah. she's gonna be like, "Man, if you only told me sooner, <laughs> I'm getting married." Right? So, you yeah, know, like, no. That's the worst. Ugh. Yeah, I and mean, I have to do it before then, right? Yeah, yeah. before this girl. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, before she gets like I don't know, engaged or something. I mean, yeah. do you think she's the one? Ah. <sighs> that that brings up like so many other questions of like of like do i believe it you know and like true love or like in soulmates and stuff like that um i feel like thus far in my life yeah she's the one you know then but fight like, then fight for it yeah, i swear right. because i mean right. have you ever had another girlfriend like i feel yeah, like I, I have because um, to go out with someone that while well, you're in love with somebody else is just i don't know and like it's partially like you know because i ha- like haven't told her yet like I'm like, I don't want to like put my own life on hold, just yeah. waiting and waiting and waiting, you know? So yeah. I had other girlfriends and stuff. Not None of them have really worked out. But uh, That is so cute. How old are you? I'm 25. You're 25. I think you should tell her it's sooner than later, you know? Yeah. What's, what's the worst that can happen? If you lose her, then you never had her even as a friend. Yeah. And let's just see what she says. There's no harm of you telling her, you know? And if she says yeah. no or anything, then you just, you know, then, then it's a clearance for your mind. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, then I'll just know. At least I'll know. Yeah, and then totally. you'll know, and then you, and then it'll be easier for you to like, you know, move on because like you don't have that thing of like doubting. Like, what would have happened if I told her? You can't go on your life, you know, like doubting. Like, right. maybe, maybe she likes you. You never know. Yeah, you're right. It might. Yeah, it might be the best thing I ever do. <laughs> yeah, I bet there's a lot of listeners who are going through the same thing right now. I hope it speaks to people. <laughs> so I'm telling you the advice that I don't. Right. Follow. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for, for, for talking to us and sharing. Thank you so much. He is so cute. I wish him the best. I just want to hug him. I want to help him so much. I wish I knew him in person. And this, honestly, this is so relatable. I mean, there has to be at least a couple of people that I know. And the listeners here probably are going, some of them are going through the same thing. You know, friend zone is actually a very common thing, you know. And I think that the best thing you can do is talk to them. Tell them how you feel because it's going to create a bubble that one day it's going to explode and you're going to say it in the wrong moment, like in, I don't know, a rehearsal dinner or something like that. So there's nothing bad with telling the person or like a friend of yours that you like them. You never know what could happen. I've done this. I've done it many times and half and half. Sometimes it hasn't gone the way that I want it. Sometimes it has. But I'm someone that, you know, I'd rather just tell things and bottle them up because you're going to be stuck with that feeling forever if you don't clear it up and, you know, Someone has to give you like a permission, like, no, okay, you should move on kind of thing from this because it's not going to work out or anything. But you need that reassurance, to be honest, because living in doubt is just you're going to live forever in doubt. And I mean, I want a guy like that. I wish he was my best friend and he told me. So maybe she likes him. You never know. Maybe she does like him. Maybe she doesn't because it's very awkward. Maybe she likes him and she doesn't know what to say. She doesn't want to ruin the friendship or anything like that. So all I can say is... Tell the person that you love or that you have a crush on that you what you feel about them. It's the best thing. All right, guys, it's time for a quick ad break, but don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss what our second caller has in store for us. Hey, 
Hey y'all, one more thing. I just want to give a shout out to another amazing podcast on Spotify called Se Regalan Dudas. The hosts are amazing and I had the best time talking to them. So if you want, you can check out my interview this Friday, September 25th on their podcast. All right, everybody, we have one caller down and one more to go. So let's get right into it. Hi, Maya. Hey. <laughs> well, Maya, how are you? I am great. How are you? I'm so excited. We're all super excited to hear what you have to tell us today. So I just want to ask you, what is your best kept secret? So in college, I played on a volleyball team and I was friends with a lot of the other athletes during that time. And I dated one of the basketball players on the team. And I found out that he cheated on me with my best friend slash roommate. Why is it the best friends? Like, uh, always. It's always the, the ones that you think are your best friends. Yes. But I found out he slept with her. And so I slept with his basketball coach and got him fat for the rest of the season. What? Wait, why, why the coach and <laughs> yeah. why, not, why not his best friends? Because he did me real dirty and I just... I needed to one-up him. Yeah, you had to one-up him. I mean, a coach, my God. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, I mean, the whole situation, he acted like he didn't. I mean, to this day, he still doesn't know. Oh, no. But how how did you get revenge if he didn't find out? Was it just for you? You just wanted to feel better? Oh, yeah, no, no. I, I mean, he thought I was stupid enough. First of all, I'm way, I'm worth it. I don't need to be played like that. Hey, you know? I love that. You listen, guys, who's ever <laughs> listening, this is how you have to do it. Like, I would be that type yeah, of person like, that would cheat and, like, send it in DMs. Like, hey, look, I am accidentally yeah. cheated. Sorry. Or, like, send a little voice note. Oh, that wasn't for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, absolutely not. You want to? Tr- you think you're slick enough to get away with that shit with me? I am the best thing that's ever going to happen to you. So if you think that I'm not, like, you know, don't waste my time. Oh my you God, ruined my shit and wasted my time. <laughs> I'm going to waste your time. Wow. I'm going to make you play a whole cow of cheese in and then just not play. Uh- <laughs> Wait, so wait. I just want to know because I, you, you're very strong, and I and I can tell like you were very like mad about this. How did you find out? And like when you found out, did you confront him? Well, kind of. So I lived with another girl at the time, and we were all friends. And that specific weekend, that you know, the deed was done, and it was like a family thing. And they both knew because a she was my roommate, and b he was my boyfriend. So they both knew. And when I came back my roommate kind of like slipped up and said something like the other roommate and I confronted her about it. I'm like, look, like what is going on here? Like, I know, you know, something cause they're both acting like sus around me right now. Oh, like how they were, how were they acting? Were they acting like, like laughing kind of thing? Like, yeah, like they were flirting a little too much and it just was like, not, I knew something was up, but I had no proof. Like no part of me had any proof, but you and had so an I instinct. to dig it out of my other roommate. Yeah, it was a thing. Like, he would come over, and then all of a sudden, she would, like, giggle at all of his jokes. I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is new. <laughs> this is new. And, like, I want to, I didn't want to say confronted, but I was like, hey, like, I didn't know you were friendly with, let's call her Kat. And she was like, he was like, oh, no, we're, like, we all, we're all friends, and mm-hmm. we're all, like, a big group of friends. It wasn't just, like, me and my roommates and him. There was, like, a bunch of us. And So you, no one ever told you? You just thought about it? Like, how did you find out, like? Did you actually see it? Like since you since you didn't have any proof, I had like a feeling. But at the other point, there was this other person in our friend group, and he told me he was like, "Look, like I think this happened. Like he cheated on you." And I just thought, you know, he's into me. He's gonna say whatever. And he was saying whack ass shit like that from the beginning, just to get me to go with him. But then when I came back from the trip, it was like a little less lighthearted and it was more like no 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 like he she should cheated on you with her and i was like what do you mean like nah like haha like real funny and then like the giggling happened and then i asked my third roommate my other friend and she was like uh and oh, she felt too guilty yeah. to not say anything wow. like there was too many things that were adding up and yeah. i'm like hmm no and you didn't break up with him right away oh no 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 so <laughs> then when I did confront him about it, it wasn't necessarily like I wasn't going to charge him. Like, okay, let's we're going to play this smart. I brought it up to him, and he was like, "Oh, like that's kind of." I'm like, "Oh, like you and Cat are like really close. Like, what's what's that about?" You know? And he was like, "Oh, like you're just paranoid, babe. Like it's nothing. Like don't even worry about it." And he didn't know that I know, so he's just again like playing it off like every other guy. And I had no evidence other than word of mouth. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Like I know you're lying. Too way too bluntly obvious for this to be you know a joke 
So when one person tells you, okay, maybe it's a lie. When two people tell you, oh, okay, maybe not. When you're on going on like every other person's like, no, 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 this definitely happened. You're getting way too comfortable with each other. I was like, okay, cool. So he thinks he's going to hurt me. So then I went over to his basketball coach, who I knew had a thing for me. You know, I just started sleeping with him. And then all of a sudden, I was dropping some stats. Like, oh, you know what? Like, basketball free throw shots, they're not really doing too well. Oh, I think that you should play this guy. And he was like, you know what? I think you're right. And I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Like, I can read stats. And then, like, slowly, he just stopped going into games. And he would come home. And he would (laughs) then... I mean, he was good enough to where I didn't feel bad because I knew he would get a scholarship somewhere else. But at the same point, he didn't play the rest of the season. He would come home every night and he'd be like, I don't understand why I'm not playing. I'm like, I don't know, babe. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, coach just doesn't like you anymore. Like, I, you just got to work harder. <laughs> I just don't understand how um, you would, like, you know, like, still be with a guy like that. You know what I mean? Like, did you still like him? Oh, no. I mean, he's a piece of shit, but I was in it for the long game. I mean, he, like, really hurt me. I was in... You just... You were having fun. Yeah. Oh, no. It was... It was a game. I won. <laughs> I love that. Thanks. As long as you had fun. Damn, a lot of girls, I feel like, would, like, right away, like, be crying, go to the guy, like, break up with him or with her or whatever. But, like, you did something that I don't... I, to be honest, I've never... I've maybe heard of it once or twice, but it's not common. Yeah, I mean, I fell for him so hard because my prior relationship was just so, like, emotionally draining and manipulative and just pick up negative connotation, and that was him. He brought me out of that, and I fell for him so hard, and I had, like, so much love for this man. For him to turn around on just one weekend where I'm out of town with family was just, like, I'm like, really? Out of everything we've been through. Yeah, like, I was like, fuck you. Like, you know me and how everything I've been through let alone everything we've been through. Yeah, it was... Uh, I just want to know, was was it better having sex with a coach or your boyfriend? Um, Low-key, the coach was pretty... He was packing. <laughs> he was good? Oh, yeah. And he definitely, like, um, introduced me to a lot more things that I didn't even know what I like. Liked. Wait, wait, like what? Like, I didn't know that I was into... Like, most of the stuff that I was into was just, like, the basic, like high school college like let's do missionary for four minutes and that's great i'm having a great time no he would like we would go like multiple rounds and like use some ropes and it was just oh my god and you did not fall for the coach oh no i mean it was just fun i thought no no it was just purely sex Um, don't get me wrong it was great sex but no and your coach did not know that oh he had no idea i mean as far as i know he had no idea oh wow but he had no idea I, i know for a fact to this day he doesn't know that I'm the reason that he didn't play three-fourths of the season. (laughs) Wow. And your best friend, did you stay in touch with her? Were you a little bit more cold with her? Oh, no, no, no. Fuck that. I didn't talk to her the rest of the year. Did you tell her? Like, see, I had no problem cutting her off. Yeah. I brought up some things, but she would, you know, just play the victim. And I don't understand why you're yelling at me. I ain't doing anything. And, oh, yeah, one of those. So you would definitely do it again? I don't think I would. I think in that time and place, where I was mentally and the person I was, I don't think I would, that person would do it again, but like who I am now and who I've grown to be. And I don't think I would do it. I think I would just, first of all, I don't think I'd be with someone like that just because I know my worth. Yeah, of course. And I'm a better person. I don't think I would do it. I think I'd just be the bigger person and move on. Yeah. And I and feel like now that you know more, but I think you're, you have so much confidence, but now that you know more, what would you tell people that are going through the same situation? Like if they find out that the boyfriend's cheating on them with a, with a best friend or anything like that, what would you tell them? What advice? I mean, to be 100% honest, the best advice that I have for someone that's been cheated on is that you just, you get your time to cry. You ha- you, you're allowed to mourn the love that you lost because it, it's not always two-sided. You know, somebody can love someone more. And when you get cheated on, it does hurt. You get that time to mourn, but you also need the time to grow and it makes you a stronger person because of it. So just be the bigger person, take your time to mourn and then move on and be the bigger person yeah. because obviously you deserve more. Yeah. I completely agree. Seriously, you, you taught me some things today too, though. You did teach me a lot of things. Oh. Thank you so much for talking to us. Seriously. Of course. I'm so happy I could, you know, help others with my shitty ex relationships. No, seriously, <laughs> you've given me a lot of confidence. Like I, I should have done that. I made a lot of mistakes when it comes to like guys who have cheated on me. So 
next time when it happens. I hope it doesn't. We got to rise above that. But I mean, like, I, I can't sit here and preach the choir. Then, but also, you know, I was the one that got cheated on. I didn't know my worth all the time. And you got to grow to be the bigger person and be the better person to just know that you're worth it, no matter who you are and where you are. You're right. You know, you're right. I fuck with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Wow. Well, you know, that call kind of gives me mixed feelings. I fuck with the fact that she's so confident. And I mean, you, you know, she's not ashamed of what she did and she learned from it. And then now she wouldn't do it again. But, you know, everybody has their different way of mourning. I wouldn't say in my case that, you know, fucking uh, another person because you got cheated on is the way to go. But at the same time, if that's the way for you to move on and make yourself feel better, go ahead and do it. You know, because the fact that she didn't go oh, to cry or make a big scene. Well, that takes guts, you know, because she kind of held her emotions very well, very calmly. What I would have done in this situation, I would have probably never talked ever again to the best friend and the boyfriend and then just like went out dating other people, you know? Definitely, I, I would be the person to go and like break up and then, you know, try as soon as possible to get a rebound, you know? But um, I, sh- I think she should have told them. Uh, because I think that's even worse to me. That's a that's a payback is for her to actually tell them and fuck the the, the coach. In my case, but uh, I'm very shocked at, at at how she handled this. I haven't heard that one before. So, you know, I hope no one else ever cheats on her again. Because God knows what the fuck she's gonna do. Wow. These are some crazy secrets this week, and I want to thank Sam and Maya for calling in and sharing so openly with us. I hope you feel like, you know, some weight was lifted off you now that you got that big secret off your chest. Both of them must have been super heavy to maintain, and yes, they are completely different scenarios. I mean, for Maya, even though revenge can taste sweet in the moment, she found out that, you know, there's other ways of getting back to your ex, and, you know, she felt very empowered at the time, and if it made her feel good, that's okay. But, you know, now... She says she regrets what she did and she will not do it again, which is okay. But if that helped her in that moment, all good. And like Maya, our first caller Sam has also failed to find his true voice. He's been desperately wanting to date his best friends but doesn't have the courage to tell her. And he seems so sweet, but you know, it is a tough thing to do because you don't want to... You like your best friend, but you don't want to like lose her. But at the end of the day, I think that... He, he shouldn't live with the doubt because maybe she likes him back. So I encourage him to tell her the truth. And, you know, he's got to just tell her. And that leads me to my best kept secrets question of the week. Would you risk a great friendship to tell them that you're in love with them? Head over to my Instagram stories to cast your vote. I am really interested to know what you guys would do. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you all have an amazing week. I'll be back next Wednesday with some more best kept secrets. See ya! If you or someone you know are struggling emotionally, text START to 741-741 for a confidential chat anytime. Bum, bum. Thanks for listening to Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons, only on Spotify in partnerships with Shot Studios. The Shot Studios original team includes creators John Shahidi and Sam Shahidi, my lovely producer Belinda Mercer, and audio editor Stephen Colon. From Spotify Studios executive producers Javier Pinol, Liz Gately, Gina Delvac, and Danny Trebodge. And a special thanks to Dan Behar, Jessica Molina, Francisco Quijada, and Julio Pabon. I'm Lele. Follow me on Instagram at Lele Pons and check out my exclusive merch at lilshop.com. That is lilshop, L-I-L, shop.com. Talk to you next week.